Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. I'm excited to tell you today that we have available at Worship Tutorials Pads 2, and we're calling them Atmospheric Pads because, as you can hear, you're listening to Pads 2 right now. They sound very atmospheric. So many of you have, uh, have downloaded and used our original pads, so you kind of know what these pads are all about. But if you're watching this and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about when I say pads, um, the easiest way to explain it is you're listening to them. And they're a sound bed that you can play under really any element that you would like, uh, typically in a worship service. So the, the most typical places you would use pads are underneath a song and to get you in and out of a transition, so between songs, or maybe under a message at the end of a message during a prayer or something like that. It just helps everything feel very warm, very... Uh, a lot of ambience that it adds to the room. It really creates a mood, an emotional uh, sort of a response that you can get from hearing that nice sound. So pads two are different than pads one just in the way that they sound. They work exactly the same way. As you can hear, there's a lot of texture to them that you don't really get with pads one. And uh, they just have a completely different sonic uh, sort of signature that you can use. When you download the pads, you get you get 12 different mp3 files. You get one file for each key. If you were to use them in a song, you would take, say you're playing a song in the key of C, you would use the key of C pad and you just play your song on top of it. You don't need to follow a click track. It doesn't have anything to do with the progression. It just fits. Anything that you play in that key, almost anything, is going to fit right on top of the pad. So to demonstrate that, this is the key of C pad. I'm just gonna play a progression in the key of C not following a click track or anything like that. So we're gonna go C, A minor, G, F, So you can see nothing really felt out of place at all. And it's because the pad sort of hangs on the root note of the key, which allows you to play pretty much any chord in that key that would be in a normal chord progression. What you can do then to facilitate a transition is say we're playing a song in the key of C, let's just do Cornerstone, and then we're gonna go to a song in the key of D, and let's play Amazing Grace in the key of D. So your pad in C is playing, and here you go. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name. We end our song in C, we swell in the key of D pad, and we go to How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And what you can do then is let your pad continue to play and say you want to pray after the end of this song or you want to lead in some kind of a spiritual direction or maybe you're going to move into a message. Um, it really just fills the gap. It helps glue everything together. So the two main applications, really three main applications that we use because we use pads in our worship services almost every single week. We use them underneath songs if we'd like to fill out the sound a little more. We use them to facilitate that transition because there's nothing worse. And I've been in churches where we did this. You play a song, silence. You start a new song, silence. You, maybe you pray or you say something with nothing underneath it. And then you play another song, silent, and then silence. And uh, it really just feels disjointed. There's no sense of flow. There's no sense of, of a cohesive kind of a, an experience. And if you play the pads and just use them to transition between songs, you change your keys with the pads, 
it really um, fills in those gaps and, it, and it's amazing how much different it feels with just a little bit of intentionality to think through a transition like that it makes a huge difference and then we also play them at the end of a message as our teaching pastor is wrapping up maybe he's praying or he's hitting a uh, a really kind of an intimate moment of the message if you pull those pads in it just changes the room changes the atmosphere and the feeling the emotion and uh, if you are if you think a little bit ahead of it there too and you play it say you're gonna do a song after the message and you swell the pad in in the key of that song then you can just seamlessly go into the response song if that's what you like to do after a message so head over to worshiptutorials.com. There's a link below or here in the video. You can hear samples of every single uh, one of the pads that we have, both the original pads, pads 2, and the minor key pads. For all of them, when you download them, you get 12 MP3 files. They're 20 minutes long each, one for each key, so you can play uh, to any song in any key that you do. A lot of you have asked, how do you get that um, that crossfade that happens, which is how really you, you nail that transition is you got to crossfade. You can't stop it and start another one. There are a lot of software applications, both uh, apps for your phone and uh, software packages uh, on a, uh, if you have a computer, um, that you can use. And I have videos and I've highlighted how to do that in several different environments. From simple things down to like just playing them off your phone, you can do that if you want. And you can get that crossfade if you want, all the way up through um, having like an Ableton Live session where you have all your uh, songs laid out and a MIDI foot switch controller where you can uh, you bank up and down and swell them in and out and that kind of thing. Um, I've highlighted how to do that. There are many other methods you can use, so just feel free to experiment. If you have any questions, please head over to there to Worship Tutorials. Uh, you can ask me in the comment box at uh, there on the pads page. Or if you have a support question, um, say you've purchased pads and you have a question or something's not working for you, please uh, send a support ticket in. I do try to get to those within 24 hours. So if you have an issue, I will try and get uh, to you as fast as I possibly can to help take care of things for you and provide support. Thank you all so much uh, for supporting Worship Tutorials. To all of you who have used, uh, downloaded and used pads, uh, thank you. I love hearing from you about how they are impacting your worship services. I really encourage you to check out pads too. It's good to have different kinds of uh, sounds. That's what we have found. Uh, it's nice to be able to come in with a different, a different sound. They work the same way. They just sound a little different, give you a little different texture. Um, so head over to Worship Tutorials. Check them out there. We'll see you next time. Bye.